This is code.org. One way to check if a string is a palindrome is to compare a string to a reverse version of it. For example, pizza and a zip. A zip. A zip. That, that does not sound appealing. Uh, does the original equal the ver reverse? No. No, it does not. But madam and madam do. Right? So we're going to do, I guess, is palindrome method. And this is a kind of a common challenge in computer science, the idea of you need to flip a string. A few things to keep in mind, guys. Documentation, Java, string. What have we learned that we are going to need to be able to reverse a string? Compare to maybe, but we're not alphabetizing. Equals, well, yeah, we're going to need to see if two strings equal each other. Index of, yeah, and length. Uh, ooh, length actually for a loop. And then a substring will let us rip apart a string, right? We can break it down and maybe reverse it into different, uh, reverse its letters if we do one letter at a time. So I'm going to start then with a string called reverse, and I'm just going to set it equal to nothing, right? And now, since I have to reverse a string, I'm going to want to loop. I need to loop through each character, so I'm going to do four uh, int i for index, it's going to be equal to zero. Ah, wait a minute. I want to go into reverse. So I'm going to actually do word.length, and length is a method, right, for the length of a string. And then remember, indexes start one less than the length. Since indexes are indexed at zero, it's always going to be one less than the length is the last index. So I'm going to start i at that last index by saying word.length minus one. And then i needs to be greater than zero, right? Um, actually, because we have an index at zero, i needs to be greater than or equal to zero. And then i plus plus, we need to decrease. We're going to decrement i, i minus minus, because we want to go down by one each time. All right, so this is how we would reverse. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, that's all looking good. Now, I want to be really clear what's happening here. So I'm going to do int uh, letter index of letter we index of letter we want, right? And that is actually going to be I. That's what that is. And then what else am I going to do? I'm going to do int index one past letter we one past letter and what i'm trying to say here guys is that a substring you need to give it an index to start at and an index to end at unless you want the entire thing uh starting at one particular index right so if i just give the index uh two for substring as the argument well i'll get every character after two so the second index is L, so I should get all of these. Now, if I want to stop at some point, which I'm going to want to do as I grab one letter at a time, I need to give it both a starting index and an ending index. Keep in mind, the ending index is not included. So if I have pizza and my starting index is 0 and my end index is 1, well, P is included. That's at index 0. I is not. That's at index 1. So the start index is included, the end is not. So we do need to go one past the letter we want. And then it's just reverse. Uh, I'm going to do plus equals. And I'll do word dot substring dot, and I wrote this really long, of course, index of letter we want, comma, index one past letter, right? And then that should give us what we're looking for. Yep. And then I'm going to return uh, if these two are equal. So I need to return a Boolean. And maybe I could be more clear. Boolean uh, result is going to be equal to reverse word is dot equals, right? I can use this method, the original word. And now I can return my result. And I probably have bugs, but the best part of coding is you can be wrong a lot. So uh, that's a static method, by the way. We can run this directly. I don't need to instantiate uh, an object for this class. String checker dot is 
Why is Paladrone not a Paladrone? I'm just saying. Just saying. It's annoying. All right. Uh, let's do pizza. And then I can also do, I don't know, Boolean result or something like this. And, of course, you can have it print out however you want. They don't tell us how to do that. But I'm doing it this way. Let's see if I broke it. Ooh, pizza is not, shockingly. Okay, well, what if I change this to uh, Madam? Ooh, that's actually looking good. I want to point out, guys, there is more than one way to code and to solve this problem. I have absolutely seen this way. Another way I've seen is to do... I'm actually just going to copy all of this. Copy. And I am going to call this one another... You don't have to do this. I'm pointing out that there's so many ways to do this. I've seen students do reverse and then they go word dot uh, sub string and then it's uh, word dot length minus one. So that gives them the last character and then they do something like this. I is going to be equal to zero. I needs to be less than word dot length. Uh, and then I++. plus plus. Actually, I think... Yeah, they have I start at 2. And then we can allow for I to be less than or equal to the word length. Then your starting index would actually be... Then your index of the letter we want would be this right here. And it would be length minus 1. Right, or minus i, and i were starting at 2, and then I would do this plus 1 to go 1 past the letter I want, and let's see if this gives us also what I want. It does. All that's to be said, there's more than one way to be right, right? Be creative, have fun with this, it's a challenge. Good luck. Onward.